Howdy, my name is Ann McCarthy. I'm a developer relations wrangler at Automatic. And this video is about exploring the potential of patterns. So to start, what are patterns? So block patterns are a way to set up layouts of blocks through themes and plugins. If you think of a block as a single piece of wood or a nail, a pattern is like a ready-made picnic bench that you can use. What are the benefits for users? So with just a few clicks, they allow you to have easy access to beautiful and functional layouts for everything from testimonials, headers, galleries, and more. They save you time, allow you to level up your layouts and make it easier to create the content you want. Let's take a quick sneak peek at some in-progress patterns just to get you excited and to give you a taste. So here are some patterns from the automatic design team, which is working to release both block themes and block patterns to the WordPress org repo. Um, here are some examples though, just to get you excited. As you can see, there's some really cool and beautiful patterns here that are being worked on. And these are just some examples of many that you can actually use. So you can see here, this is kind of a little uh, layout to list authors or artists um, or content creators here. There's also some neat purchase tickets, some cool uh, portfolio style um, patterns here. I love these sorts of image layouts that show, showing layered images on top of each other. I find them to be absolutely gorgeous. Ditto with this. But this is just a taste and there's a ton more um, in the WordPress.org pattern repository, which I will cover now. So as mentioned, let's dig into where can I find patterns? So right now you can mainly find patterns in the new pattern directory that launched with WordPress 5.8 in July, 2021. I'm going to open this now so you can get a sense of what this looks like. So this is the pattern directory here. And it's super easy to use. You just simply copy and paste um, into your content wherever you'd like to use. If you need further instructions, I'm actually going to link a support article in the description of this video. Um, I actually wrote this. So if you have any feedback, feel free to share in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Beyond the pattern directory, though, you can also find patterns baked into the experience in a few ways. Let's go over one of them now. So if you're using a theme like the 2021 default theme, you can actually find patterns in the block inserter here. Keep in mind that not all themes are gonna have this because the theme has to register the patterns in order to have them show up here. But here's just a quick visual so you can get a sense of what to expect. Now to add and use the patterns, it's quite easy. You can either just click on them or you can actually drag and drop to add them in to your content. So now that you've seen the theme example, I also want to show you another way, which is actually having patterns baked into the blocks themselves. So for example, you'll find patterns in the setup process for the query loop block. Here's just a very brief demo showing how the patterns are naturally included into the initial configuration steps, which makes it really easy to both see what you're adding and to see creative layouts. So if I just type in query loop, I have content already on this site. I can actually scroll down and see how this content will lay out. And from here, as you can see, it says next pattern. I can scroll through and see different patterns and choose the one that I'd like to use for the query loop layout. I also have this option to view these uh, different patterns in a grid. Um, I like to scroll, scroll through the carousel view because it shows me in more detail each of the different patterns. Finally, another way you can actually see patterns is in the transform menu of certain less complex blocks like the quote block. Here's a quick demo just so you can get a sense. So this is a quote, I'm gonna hit the transform menu here and then you'll see under here styles. So I'll select this, boom, totally different, cool looking pattern and more of these are on the way. Okay, at this point, I hope you're thinking to yourself, okay, these are really cool. What if I wanna create my own? So if you're a developer, you can actually register your own by either following the documentation or by taking the learn WordPress course on registering block patterns. I have both of the links shown here. I'll also drop a link in the description of the video. Keep in mind that you can add patterns to your site using a few methods, whether through your theme or a plugin. Also, if you're a designer, know that you aren't left out either. You'll soon be able to submit patterns to the directory for possible inclusion too. What about integrating your custom block patterns? So this is a bit of a new experimental uh, property that's being worked on that I wanted to mention. So if you're actually creating your own custom block patterns, there is a new block type property being worked on that will allow your patterns to show up in the transfer menu which is what I displayed with the quote block. I'll share a link to an example below of how this works currently. Keep in mind, this is still in the early stages though, as it's utilizing experimental components and might need to change down the road. So stay tuned. 
If you do try this out, I'd love to hear from you. And if you do run into any bugs or feature requests, just share them in the Gutenberg repo. So what's to come? Believe it or not, this is actually just the beginning. In the future, there are plans for the pattern directory itself to be integrated into the inserter. So you'll have access to all the patterns directly from the inserter rather than just theme specific patterns or needing to copy and paste from the block directory. There are explorations around having more patterns integrated into the both a setup um, state like the query loop block and in the transform menu like we saw with the quote block. To get a sneak peek, here's some experimental code from a contributor named Kel using the quadrant theme that shows patterns integrated into the experience of adding a header to your site. So this is experimental code, as I mentioned, but it shows a really neat use case of having patterns integrated into more pieces of the site building experience. So in this case, I'm gonna add a header template part. I'm gonna select new header. And now you'll see specific patterns designed for this theme to choose from, similar to what we saw with the query loop block. Pretty cool. I can imagine a lot of themes using this for headers and footers and different content on the site. So going a step further, there's also an early discussion around what's being called starter page templates that I'll link to in the video description below. But this would essentially take the idea of patterns for sections of content and apply it to a full page so that you'd have a form of page patterns to quickly get started building portfolios, contact pages, services, and more. As you can imagine, this will definitely speed up content creation and help folks get started with easy to use tools to create beautiful, beautiful content. Finally, outside of issues like this, there's also a ton of work being done on new design tools that are in progress that will make patterns easier to make, improve their responsiveness and more. Thanks for watching. If you wanna stay connected with me, I'm at Ann Zazu in WordPress.org Slack, or you can find me at nomad.blog. I have a contact form there and I look forward to hearing from you. Hope this helped you both feel more excited and prepared about the future of patterns.